Hello friends, welcome to our channel where we are presenting lessons in mathematics. Okay, so in this presentation, we continue dealing with the trigonometry. Okay, we continue dealing with the trigonometry. Okay, but our interest is to look at how we can get the shortest distance of a triangle. All right, now we are saying if we know the area, all right, of a non right angle triangle. Okay, of a nine right angle triangle through this formula or via this formula, area is equal to 1 over 2 multiplied by sine theta multiplied by B multiplied by C. This formula was, um, I think, presented in, in, the, in the previous uh, uh, video. All right, we can find, we can find the shortest distance of a triangle. So if we know the area of a non right angle triangle, if we are able to calculate or the area, if the area has been given, we can then try to attempt to calculate uh, the shortest distance of a triangle. Now we are saying, doing this, this uh, uh, the word here is this, doing this requires that we apply, okay? We apply the concept of area of a right angle triangle, area of a right angle D triangle, okay, uh, which is area is equal to half BH, right? Now, if we were to make H the subject of the formula, what are we going to have? Okay, if we were to make H the subject of the formula, what are we going to have? What we are going to have is H is equal to A divided by B, where H is the height of a triangle which is right angled now and is taken to be the shortest distance so if we were to find h it means we'll have found the shortest distance of the triangle are we okay it means we'll have found the shortest distance of the triangle so i'll subject these notes to the camera so that you can be able to copy them nicely Okay. So that's what we are saying. If we know the area of a nine right angle triangle via that formula, we can find the shortest distance of a triangle. Doing this requires that we apply the concept of area of a right angle triangle. That is, area is equal to half bh. This implies that our height is equal to a over b, where h is the height. Uh, of the triangle okay so let's try and dissolve this question that we have okay so one to find these three questions we are saying triangle abc is non right angled as we can be able to see all right so we have this side being 25 that side being uh, 40 meters then the angle given here is 98 degrees Alright, these three questions are the ones that we need to deal with. The first one, let's find the AB. By AB we mean the length. Alright, the second one, let's find the area of this triangle, which is non right angle D triangle. How are we going to do it? We apply this formula that we are talking about here. Alright, okay. Then uh, thereafter we are supposed to get the shortest distance from C to, to AB. So from C to AB. Okay, so now what do we do? Uh, we have a triangle which we are calling uh, Okay, we have a triangle there Triangle ABC We have a triangle here been told that this is a okay this is b and this is e, c okay so this is 25 meters and this is 40 meters this is uh, 98 degrees so the first question we are asked okay ok 
Okay, so the first one we need to find a b now when you look at this uh you realize that this side a b is c okay then this is side a and this is side d b so by a b indirect we are asked to get side c so we say c squared now you need to know the formula that you are going to use here they will not tell you the formula that you are going to use, whether you use sine rule or cosine rule but in this case because we've got two sides that are producing an angle here, we use the cosine rule, okay? So say c squared is equal to the other two sides are a squared plus b squared minus 2ab uh, cos, cos c, okay? That's the approach that we need to, to take, all right? That's the approach that we need to, to take. So in this case, what is our a, okay? Our A is 40. What is our B? Our B is 25. All right. Uh, what is our C? Our C is the one that we want to find. Okay. So now we are going to say C squared is equal to what is our A? We we'll say 40 squared here because A is 40. Okay. I hope it is clear. Plus, what is our B? Our B is 25, say 25 squared minus 2, open the bracket, A is 40, close, you multiply by 25, all right? Everything here should be multiplied by what? Cos, cos C, that is angle here, which is 90 degrees, okay? That's what we have here. So, C squared is equal to? When you look at um, 40 squared plus 25 squared, when you work these two out, you are going to get 2,225. You can work that out on your calculator. Now, when you work out this part from here up to there, what is that we are going to get? We are going to get a negative 278 but because there is a negative that is coming from here with this negative you have a, a positive here so when you punch everything with a negative here it will give you positive so we have 278.34260192 this is what we are going to have All right this is what we are going to have now what we want is the c so say c is equal to the square root of everything here so now the square root of this what is this when you add this you have got two five zero three point three four six two zero one nine two okay i've introduced a square root this side and a square root there so c will produce fifty point zero three three four five uh zero eight three all right now remember i wanted to get a b here so we're going to say a b is equal to we give this answer collect to three significant figures so one two three you cut a line and consider three as what zero zero plus zero is zero so i've got fifty point zero take note these were meters so this one should be meters so that's the answer there all right that's the answer to the first uh, problem okay so that is what you are supposed to get there you have 50.0 meters so the, the answer here is 50.0 meters okay now the second question is we get the area of the triangle okay so we need to get the area of a triangle which triangle are we talking about? It's this triangle. Alright? So, how do we get the area? We have got two sides, A and B, and the angle. So, we are going to say, B, area, is half times sine theta, or if you want, you can say times C, sine B times, sine B times C, A there. Okay? So, area is equal to half times, what is my theta? Oh, 
my theta is the angle here and the angle as you can see it is 98 all right so say by sine 98 you multiply this by the two sides what are these two sides 25 and 40 this one and this so we say by 25 by 40 all right now once you work out this what you get you say area is equal to 495.1340343471 okay so now you give this to three significant figures so say one two three you cut a line and, and consider one as zero zero plus five four nine five remember the triangle had units of meter so this would be meters to the power two or square meters that is your answer there all right so that's the area of the triangle so we know that the area here is um 495 square meters this is our area all right now the next question is now that we know this side a b and that we know the area of the triangle can we find the shortest distance from c to a b so we want to find the shortest distance from c to a b now by shortest distance what we can try to do is to create a line all right perpendicular to line a b perpendicular to line a b means this line that we've drawn and a b should be at 90 degrees by so doing, what we have done now is we have converted the non-right angle triangle into a right angle triangle. Where now, this one, the distance that we want to find becomes our height. Alright? Then this distance from here up to there becomes our, our, our base. So this is the situation that we have. We have this kind of a triangle. This is now C. So we have a triangle of this nature. Okay, so here we have A, B, and C. So we've created the, uh, a line here perpendicular to that. So this is our height, and this is our base. All right? That's what we are saying. Yet this is um, 25, and this is what? 40. The angle here is 98. All right? So now, how do we get this shortest distance? We've said... Height, which is our shortest distance, should be equal to 2 multiplied by the area divided by the base. Okay? Now, so say our height is equal to 2, open bracket. What is the area? We found the area to be 495. So we say 495. Divided by, what is our base? Our base is from A to B. And what is this length from A to B? If you check here, we found AB to be 50.0. So here we can say 50.0 or just 50. So what do we get? We are going to get 990 divided by 50. All right? When you work out this, what do we get? We get 19.8 meters. This is our distance so that's a distance from c to a b and this distance is the shortest distance you can see this is 25 40 and this is 19.8 so that's how you get your shortest distance all right that's how you get your shortest distance okay so we are saying our shortest distance here is 19.8 so here the answer here the answer is 19.80 meters this is our shortest distance okay okay so this one is your exercise you can try all right thank you so much